Coming up on this episode of Lowdown, we travel over to Canton to meet up with Daniel Rylander. Then we go over to EJ Thomas Hall to hear what all the buzz was about at Collage 2014. We take a look at my new playlist and Shannon's playlist. And of course, we have Emily's Encore to look forward to. As always, we end the show with this week's featured music video. All this coming up on this episode of Lowdown. Welcome to Lowdown, the show where we bring you all things music and art here in Akron. I'm Shannon Chunk and I'm excited as always to be your host for this episode. We've covered a lot of different artists so far in the season of Lowdown and we still have more to bring you. This time, me and some other members of Lowdown meet up with a folk alternative solo artist named Daniel Rylander. Not only was the location for this performance awesome, but his singing was too. I can't wait for you all to watch this. I'm uh, Daniel Rylander. I'm a musician from Akron, Ohio, and so I'm, we're here at George's Lounge uh, in Canton. I started writing music, um, probably, like I started writing lyrics and stuff, um, and poetry probably in like middle school and stuff. Uh, I originally started playing drums, so, you know, and I was in a, in a band, did the whole band thing, and, um, but I was doing a lot of the lyric writing and whatnot. Um, in high school and whatnot, but I didn't really like, I wasn't sure if, you know, because I wasn't playing a melodic instrument, um, like are my words lining up with, you know, music and whatnot. So I taught myself, you know, piano and guitar over the course of, you know, the last seven or eight years. Um, but I started, you know, the music that I started, you know, writing and liking and keeping and stuff that I play today, like probably in high school. I picked up the ukulele uh, about a year or two ago, so um, I'm infatuated with it. It's, uh, it's really a cool little instrument and I'll be going back into the studio to record an EP um, taking and like stripping down songs and whatnot and making them focused around the ukulele itself. My favorite moment that happened to me uh, not too long ago, I was playing a show in Chicago and um, I was wearing an Ohio State sweater. And uh, out of nowhere, I was doing something, and I just heard somebody go, "Oh, H," and I was like, "I O," you know, just kind of a thing. So it turns out this girl was from Toledo, and she was uh, all jazzed that I was, you know, from Ohio and playing in Chicago and repping for the home state. So, <laughs> but that that was that was pretty cool. Celebrated the one-year anniversary of Strawberry Skyline. So, um, but it was inspired by. Um, you know, because I'd had all these songs and whatnot, but with my uh, older brother uh, was killed in Afghanistan, and that's what kind of got this whole, you know, ball rolling and whatnot. So I, I went in the studio to record just the one song that my uncle and I co-wrote uh, as kind of a memoriam for my older brother and whatnot. And uh, I just loved the studio that I was in, so, you know, I had the rest of Strawberry Skyline, and I was like, well, let's just do it. So Strawberry Skyline is, you know, really just my debut record. Because I'm still writing songs about her. What advice would you give to young artists like yourself? Um, just, just keep at it. You know, um, embrace the community of you know musicians for what it is. You know, and don't, don't gauge, you know, your success. You know, off of other people. Like you can't be jealous of. And it's like, oh, so and so got this, or you know, I'm only here, and they seem to be there, because it's, it's all about, you know, learning and putting in the time and taking it, you know, one step at a time, and uh, really just, you know, making friends and, you know, making experience, you know, life experiences and making memories. Did you come here with a lover or your hopes and dreams? So you wanna be an actress making cinemas for the big screen? Wasn't he great? His songs all have a meaning behind them, which I can appreciate. It's hard to find artists that create music with more than just music notes and words thrown together. He's definitely onto something because he has more shows coming up in the future. If you like what you heard, then check out Daniel Rylander's page online. If you want to, you can do it right now because we're at our first commercial break. There's still more to come, so stay right there and Lowdown will be right back. 